all of us want the result. Mm. That is not what is greater. Mm. The process is the best because it creates character. Yeah. Bible na semanga. Thank God when you go through seasons of trials because trials in afanyanga nini they make you mature. Yes. Into character na mature yeah. and they bring back hope. You mm. So where we come when you nani skiza sai it's very very important to go through seasons not because of the outcome mm. but because of who you will become. beautiful people how are you doing welcome to another episode of pour it out and in this show we just learn we get knowledge and wisdom from different people and today i am with my friend here my bff uh, my bestie Priscilla Dano a good friendship refreshes the soul kabisa yeah, no, <laughs> i am at home i don't even have to care what you're going to talk about Yeah so karibuni sana take your phone just share 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 to your friends with your girlfriends all the people because you're going to have an amazing conversation mm-hmm. today we are talking about thriving in all seasons yes, yes. maisha ni kupanda na kushuka when you're young when you're old when you're whatever there are different seasons and we want to learn and share how we can thrive in all seasons yes and i am size 8 reborn karibu sana every wednesday okay, okay. i always forget that yes <laughs> every wednesday 3:30 pm we have a new episode here at pour it out mm-hmm. really to pour it out please subscribe share because the content here is not from us na jojana niko na kwambia niko na soma first corinthians chapter 2 and they are talking about the the wisdom of the spirit of god so sisi wenye tumeokoka tuna wisdom yetu tuko na wisdom ya the spirit of god because we are the mind of christ amen so the wisdom that is coming from here is not from us it's from the holy spirit and please share 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 let's make the page grow yes. let the message go out to people wednesday 3:30 pm apa kwa quiet out youtube channel kwa priscilla danus youtube channel to go up yes 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 thank you so much two are better than one yes no no <laughs> By the there's a verse that says something like that. Yes. Like a, one can chase a thousand, two can chase tens of thousands. Hallelujah. Yeah. So, how do we thrive in all seasons, Mama Wambo? Uh, we the reason we should thrive in all seasons is because the Bible says everything that happens to them that believe mm-hmm. happens uh for a good reason as in it will turn out for good. Anything yes. that happens to those that be, that love God, to them that are called, to them that are believe in him happens for their own good. Yes. So if you love God and you're in he you love him and mm. he loves you but of course God loves us back. Yes. But if you love him every season mm. leads to an elevation or character development or mm. all those things. So every yeah. season is important. For example, if let me let me give you an example when you're pregnant, mm-hmm. you've just conceived, you have to wait for nine months. Yes. Normally, I'm saying normally, you yeah. have to wait for nine months uzai. Mm. For example, in any kind of pregnancy, when mm. you the moment you conceive that baby cannot be called a fetus mm. it's not embryo or fetus isn't it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. unless it may grow into limbs and everything yes. and you have to wait for a specific time, time. frame yeah yes yeah, so you know season the mtoto akue the same way ukipanda mahindi saa hii huwezi enda ku harvest yes yeah, that's a good of yeah mm. and most of us do not respect the seasons <sighs> mhm I've gone through a, a very tough season and when I was going through that season of sickness I was mm. really 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 thinking God is not really fair. <laughs> <laughs> you no, are fair. You, you forgot fair, me. You're not fair. <laughs> in that season I've mm. grown a lot and a mm-hmm. lot of selfish ambitions died. Mm. A lot of um of actually the greatest thing that has died for me is ungratefulness mm-hmm. and pride. Yeah. That is the greatest thing God ali huwa ndani yangu from mm. 2015 January till uh, the, the till I think March ndio nilikuwa mzuri kabisa March this year mm. that whole period hey, that's a long time that's a long period yeah. that whole period the thing that I learned the most I have learned the most is 
kuweka pride chini. When mm. I mean pride, I don't mean the pride you are thinking of I feel better than people. Or, no, no, no. no. Mm. I, I'm talking about the hidden pride of the heart. Mm-hmm. Where you think life is a must, health is a must. Yeah, it's obvious. It's obvious mm. it's a must. And so you right. never ever give God credit for even you waking up Yeah. You understand? Mm. For example, kitabu ningeenda event, niseme ah au ah, watu wamenikalisha na ni kweli wamenikalisha. Sitaki kukaa sana, nataka kwenda home. Mm. But nowadays when I go for an event to perform, nikipanda tu stage, naambia ngatu Mungu asante. Thank you for breath. Thank you for health. Yeah. I'm here as in hata <laughs> for example if God wants me to do a service for event five hours. Yeah. I just told God thank you for the health to stand. Mm. When I go home I see my children I just tell God thank you no matter how the day was mm. you know you are a bit more grateful yeah na let humility kidogo eh. so uh TB Joshua always says used to say sorry he's late I'll go and say mom love the process more than the outcome mm. even when it's not because yes. the process is usually not nice yes, yes. it's when everything is chini if it's uh, like the example you've given of a maize if you're planting if it's, it's a seed you ground. never really see yeah it. but let me tell you every process you learn something it's not all of us want the result mm. that is not what is greater mm. the process is the best because it creates character yeah bible nasemanga Thank God when you go through seasons of trials because trials zinafanyanga nini they make you mature yes. into character na mature yeah. and they bring back hope you mm. understand so wewe kama mwenye unanisikiza sai it's very very important to go through seasons not because of the outcome mm. but because of who you will become yeah not because of okay uh, god god said you go through this season then he'll make you great mm. it's not the greatness that you really after but the character development which is most important i i agree and yeah. let me ask you so like let me give an example of a season where maybe you're waiting to get a job and it's been a long time coming and when you're in that season there's the reality of you're really broke you don't have anything you don't have house rent maybe you have to live with other people or you're just struggling so your heart is willing you know i want to thrive in this season as i know I'm, i know i'm waiting i know there's something that good is coming i know god has the best plans for me but how what can, what things can you do so that even in that moment of waiting in a very stressful situation that you're still thriving even in that season i think in itonga na skanga talks about wilderness okay wilderness. wilderness comes in many forms but sasa hiyo that specific uh, you know like if you're in such a state what should you do what can you do so that you the first thing you is kind of thrive there Yeah, even in pain born, if you're born again mm. every season works out for good mm-hmm. if you love god not just, not just only born again but if you love god mm. every season works for good mm-hmm. so for example if you don't have a job and you've been out of a job and you've been praying for a job and you of course your heart is right before god you love him you've been doing what god wants you to do and you don't understand what this why this is happening mm. for god will be allowing that to happen to prepare you for example maybe you're too picky Mm. Oh, but a job you're too picky you know always ifanya kazi kama si a certain job in a certain way no no maybe god think, knows maybe you've been so educated and uh, you even have a phd for lack of, or a degree mm. and 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 unaona eh mimi lazima nilipo ningie job ya kulipo 100k eh. 200k but god is saying if you take this job ya 30k in six months you'll be paid 1 million mm. because at a indio indio njia atatumia upande up the ladder slowly 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 to ufike 1 million mm. but now you don't want to follow the ways of god you want to go the what you think mm. like me what i've come to realize is I don't want to go exactly the way I want. I allow God to be God. There's mm. another woman who told me, "Let's stop over calculating." Eh. <laughs> Because wow. you can never know everything. Mm. Leave the space for God to yeah. do his will. Mm. I'm not saying don't plan, don't, don't, don't yeah. want to mm. do things, but for example, you can say in this and this year I want to have built, in this and this year I want to have done that, in this and this. Year. If God has seen you're not prepared and ready for that what you want, he will not give you Mm. you know so you, seasons are to sh- mostly shape our character yeah so first you understand that the season is to shape you yeah. and to build you now number how do, two, how do you now stay happy two, there mm. know that god loves you yeah. rest in the assurance that god loves you and this is working out for, for your you good. good wow you understand me when 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 i didn't have money to go to campus i was really stressed 
because I'd just finished from five and six. Akuna do yaku nipeleka campus, and I'd gotten a half scholarship to mm. a university in the UK. And when when I couldn't go, I was very devastated. But when I look at it now, I thank God I never went because I would have never sung. Mm. I would never be. I would have never been size eight. Yeah. Before. So I thank God for that season, and 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 now I am so grateful that I never. Got that money to go to that university. Yeah, I'm happy how mm. my life has mm. come. But at the time, at that time, it was it was no. It, I mainly mishandled Vibaya. I really mishandled that season. I backslid it. Mm. I went to the world. I said I hate gospel because it's full of poverty. Because the devil was lying to me. Yeah. I didn't embrace the season. I actually went to the secular world. Mm. And what cost me that? You know, there was always consequences to your actions. Right now, when I'm a pastor, most people who know my past. Cannot believe God can use me now. Yeah. Those are the consequences of my bad choices. Yeah. You understand? So when oh, most yeah. people who are in tough seasons make bad choices, mm. don't ever make a choice. This is what me, uh, me and my other brother-in-law we say: never make a decision because as a result of your conditions. Conditions are not permanent. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm. Conditions are not permanent. Conditions change. Mm. So I cannot make a decision. Uh, to do something permanent because of a temporary position. Yeah. Let's take the life of Joseph. Yeah. Mm. Joseph. Joseph's permanency was at the palace. Mm. That was his destination, at uh, at the palace in 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 Egypt. But he had temporal places that he, mm. he was found. The first one was his father's house where yeah. he got the dream. Mm. The second one was the hole the brothers threw him in. Mm. Yeah? yeah. Yes, and then they got him out. He should have decided to 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 need to to forget God and 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 leave God na kwacha na mama Mungu at that time. At that time. You see at that time when he was like how, the hole. how would he allow me to get into this yes, hole? He and have... he's a big god. See, and stop. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. The second temporal place was when he was being sold at mm. the marketplace. Yeah. And there was a god kwa nini na uzo kwa marketplace. And then the third place was at Potiphar's house where he was Potiphar's servant and mm. then he grew into becoming the master of the home. Yeah. And then there was the jail. Mm. Alienda jela. Yeah. That was another temporal place. Now, all these places were not good for him. Mm. But all of them led to him to go to the jail wow. so that at the jail, that is the only place he would have met mm. the, the king's servant. Yeah. Yeah, who it was his connection. Yeah was his connection to the mm. palace where he had seen himself as royalty i've never looked at that uh, story of of, of of joseph like that in the in the cycles and the seasons like the different seasons that has yeah, been for really example david had to meet the bear and the lion mm. in the field yeah to prepare him to meet goliath mm. most of us meet the bears and the lions in our lives to prepare us to meet the goliaths yes. and the goliaths are your ticket to Kingship. Yeah. Mm. So when the bear, when you meet the bear and the lion, those are the small obstacles in your life. Yeah, the 30k job, mm. the 10k job, the internship yes. that you don't want to do. Or lack of friends, or lack of you know, health, yeah, or lack of marriage, mm. or lack of whatever it is. Yeah, they are they are not very big at that time. Yeah, they are small. Yeah, but those small things you're going through, they are to create your muscles. Yes, to create your faith muscles, mm. strengthening you, your arms. Yeah, for mm. you to be able. To thrive when everyone is looking in a bigger mm. problem where everyone is looking, that will give you favor. Yeah, you wow. see to the next level. Like for example, David, David had to face the bear and the lion. He never cast the bear and the lion. He those incidences. The mungu akukuwa mungu hizo bear na lion ziki kujaku kutaka kukulani ni that he has to face. But God allowed the bear and the lion to face David and him to fight them off yeah. to prepare him. With his faith, yes. see, I've killed the bear. Eh. See, I've killed the lion. Who is this Palestine guy? Because all those <laughs> obstacles we face, they build our faith mm, muscles. Yeah. When God comes around, if we don't give up, if God comes and does it for you, it builds your faith. So you have faith for something bigger. Mm. So David was he, he saw the bear and the lion. He protected the sheep mm. fighting the bear and the lion. Then now God prepared him to protect the Israelites, not the wow. sheep. Mm. Beautiful. To protect now the Israelites, and when he faced the Israelites, that was his ticket to mm. favor with yeah. the whole of Israel. You yeah. understand? Yes. And also, 
when he was in war, every time he was being sent to war to fight and then he wins, someone will say, why can't God just remove that war? God was giving David, every time he wins, favor with the Israelites, mm. who, because he was going to become king. Yeah. Wow. You understand? Mm. So when you, all of us want the king, the kingship of David, we want to be king. All of us want to be uh, the the governor of Egypt, but none of us want that process. Yeah. Because they were all prepared. It was a process. And every, let me tell you, God shows off. God will create instances where he wants you to trust him so that he can show you who he is. Mm. And yeah, because when you're right in the thick of it, that's when you really, really know yes. who your God is. For me, I remember, I mean, the times that I've been in very slow moments and I'm thinking, what is what season is this and why is it not ending? I remember in those very times is when I really seek God and when I really develop a an intimacy with God. And I remember one time I was just looking and I'm like, how did I survive this season? How did I get out of it? And I remember the Holy Spirit saying, I, I needed some of those tears. Mm. I needed to see them. And I was like, why would you want to see my tears? How to get on get to come my friends when you You know, like, like how to get car to, but it was like, no. I needed to get to a place with you that I couldn't have gotten if we didn't go through th that season. And, you know, I felt like hugging this, you know, I'm like, thank you. It, it, it felt so nice. And it was quite an assurance that, yeah, those tough seasons, you know, they, I think maybe, I, I don't know if I did the right thing, but I believe I did the right thing. Was, for me, I used those moments to draw me deeper into Christ and, and, in as much as they were very hard to hard yeah, and yeah. Another, thing, another thing God was trying to teach me was like Lena don't react don't just check the season check your reaction mm. to the season it will tell you where you are with God wow a Christian can look very nice very mm. born again spirit filled Hallelujah. loving Jesus but turn on fire in their lives you will see character mm. you will see who they truly are for example, when I'm Christo, um, can you get the other job? Nini konda ni yake. Are you? Are you? Did you? I'm not. When I'm Christo, I'm a pangalain um cut. The other job, nini konda ni yake. So, for example, most of us say we love God, we are full of faith. Mm. Then God allows, not He's the one. Who, he's not the one who does it. He allows, allows. a season for you ujioni. Mm. Oh, it's a reflection yes, for yourself. Yes, because He He knows. Mm. He knows who you are. Yeah. He knows your heart. So when we just say, "Ma, hey, me, I'm a believer." I have faith. And then a season comes. And then, see, a season comes where it shakes and your, your faith. faith. And then you, you notice your faith is shaken. Mm. So what God has taught me over the years through the help of the Holy Spirit mm. is that, Lynette, when you go through any season, check your heart. Mm. What is the reaction of your heart towards me? Uh, or are you? Do, what is harbored in your heart? Mm. Do you harbor unforgiveness? Do you have a bitterness? Are you grateful? Are you ungrateful? Are yeah. there no seasons? Am I still God, God even in that yes, very yes. moment? Am I, you is think? God uh, still Yahweh even in that season? Yeah. You understand? Because another thing God told me, before I give anything, I test. Mm. I can never use an object I have not tested. Wow. He cannot and mm. he will never. May God help us. Just uh, test. Yes. May, may our feet be strengthened yes. so that we don't find ourselves we'll through, missing the before mark. God will use you. You'll go through, through two things. You'll go through testing mm. and temptation. Two. Yeah. Tempter ni shetan. Yes. Test ni mungu. Mm. And it can be in seasons. Yeah. You understand? And, and God will allow those seasons in your life to test you. And God says, the Bible says, be joyful when you go through test, test and trials. I think yes. it's the book of James mm. because it strengthens, it tests your faith. Mm. It is a test of your faith. How strong is your faith? God was testing the, the faith of Abraham. Mm. By, by he was in a season where God akamwambia sitaki wewe unini uchinje ship na taku uchinje mtoi. Sindio? That time God was testing to see what is in Abraham's heart before he can finally say he is the father of all nations. Yeah. You understand? Mm. So sometimes a season is a test. And God is just trying to show Danu, Danu, Unasemanga, mm. you love me. Like I want to show you you don't love me yet, so you're not ready for that other thing. 
So I'll allow this season warning. Mm. But so, so for me to thrive even in a season where it's very low, it's first to really understand that God loves me and everything works out for my yes, good that's as fasting. long as I'm in Christ. And then make sure I don't miss the mark. My faith needs to be strengthened in the Lord and so then, that I don't miss that season. Yeah. So I don't know who was telling me that... Uh, when you miss a season, you'll just be going round. Yes. You'll and never graduate. People, and most people do <laughs> that. Una, una zunguka, it's the same thing and you're like, why am I never breaking out? Because you never really finished the test. Yes. And God yes. is like, I need, I need people, to get done. I went in from one nah, to my little story. Yeah, kwanza. Go, go, go. For example, if you're supposed to come to class eight mm. and then you go to class five, you can to class one. Because, eh, because you let's more we're fully prepared for mm. the next level. So I tell people mm. embrace every season and not just be looking for the outcome. Yeah. Check the process. How is my heart? Yeah. Let's start there. Na react aje na sai. And not only bad seasons, good seasons. Mm. Okay, right now, say it ukona fame. Yes. How are, How are you reacting? reacting to that frame towards God? Mm. Every season, don't just look at the uh, the pros, the outcome. Check the process. Mm. Check check card. Nini wu kuaje dani? Inafanyaji ro yako ina react. Because at the end of the day, what's most important is your is your heart. Yes. Yeah. Because check your heart. Am I still loving God? Do I still have faith? Do I still have hope in Jesus Christ? Those three things. Because everything works together for good. And for example, uh, Moses, before he became uh, the deliverer, he, he, he came out of Egypt and went to the wilderness for 40 years. Oh. For how many years? 40 years. For those 40 years, God had gone to Egypt, the Egyptian mindset. Uh, yeah. God had gone to the Egyptian mindset. Nana mwekia mindset yake. Mm. So he was being prepared for 40 years. Yeah. You understand? Wow. When I got born that's again. A, that's all. Hey, God, me, I don't. Guy, mungu, unishiki araka. Kwa nini? Nisa ki kubika 40 years. But you see, he was 40 years in Egypt. Mm. Hey. Enjoying life. Mm. He needed 40 years now to change mindsets. You know, to change and then ooh. sometimes God see at the, after what you're going through, after your height and your mm. heart and your mindset. Yes. The renewal of your, your mind. mind. Yes. He wants to renew your mind and mm. clean your cleanse your heart. Yeah. That you may love him mm. and put him first. Remember, it's God, it's about your relationship with him mm. and how you view him. Vitu kama kublesiwa na kuelevetiwa, they come second. Eh, hizo ni by the way, na ni fruits, I think they are fruits. Yes, they you come second. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, yes. all those things, and then you'll get the rest. Yes, so I tell oh, people, wow. God is after your character mm. through the process, not after what you get after the process. <laughs> wow. Yes. You know? Yeah. Because character yako na mindset is what God wants to change. Mm. He wants you to have a deeper relationship with him, a better perception of him, mm. you know, a clearer understanding of who he is and a deeper love for him. That yeah. is what he's after. Mm. That is what is most important. And then blessing you is second. Yeah. But you know, the way why people look bad at seasons is because all of us want the result, mm. not the process. So embrace the process more. Yeah. Because outcome in your automatic. Mm. But what is important is, for example, when you go to school, the degree is what you get up at Nini. But what have you learned? Si kila mtu aneza kuja tu na pate degree na akwena ile experience utakuwa nae wewe mwenye umeka those four years in campus. Someone can buy a degree. But that four-year process in campus, there are things you it experience. It teaches you so it much. Not, not only yeah. does it teach you, uh, does it teach you about education, you have social skills, yeah. you have life skills, you know how to uh, do cuts and, yes. and bear that pressure with yes. exams and what's not. That's education. Yeah. Then you have social skills. Mm. Yes. Then you have personal skills. Yes. You know how to manage yourself. Mm. You have this particular time. Yes. You have this at particular time. Mm. So you develop three things. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, a degree, kuna hizi skills ajapata ajapata. Yeah. You understand? Are you getting it now? Wow, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, every process, even in marriage, I tell people embrace every every season of marriage. Yes. 
embrace every season of marriage there's something that you're learning mm. there's something god is developing every season of parenting yeah for example teenagers ask mothers who have teenagers <sighs> and fathers who have teenagers they have learned to depend on god because some teenagers sometimes can be difficult to handle <laughs> so here yeah, you learn how to depend on god yeah because uh, yeah. umepeleka kanisa umefanya kila kitu yes. but but there, it is what it is when someone gets <laughs> goes older they want to get married you learn to let go yes. as in you're learning to mm. let go and let god yes. you understand yeah. so different we learn different seasons different mm. things read Ecclesiastes 3 yes verse 1 to 8 there's mm. a time and a season for everything, everything. under the sun yeah. yes Wow, thank you so much. We Sisi, we are going to thrive in all the seasons. Mm-hmm. And I think another thing that uh, maybe also just helps, you know, just soaking yourself in the word of God continuously, mm-hmm. worshiping, just dwelling in the presence of God as much as possible just helps you to thrive yeah. through each and every season. Yes, and if you doubt the love of God, look at Jesus Christ, his only begotten son. He went through seasons. Wow, yeah. Jesus went through seasons. Mm-hmm. Some the tough life. ones. Yes. Hey, thank God I'm not Jesus. <laughs> and, and, and we say Jesus learned mm. obedience through suffering. Uh, yeah. That is scriptural. It is mm. the Bible is just because I don't know which verse. I think it's in Philippians. Mm. Jesus learned obedience through suffering. Yeah. So sometimes you learn obedience through suffering. Ooh. Yeah. It's in the scripture. Mm. Jesus learned obedience through suffering. Mm. So sometimes we learn obedience through suffering. suffering. Yeah. But The thing I liked about Christ is he embraced every season. He even embraced the cross. Yeah. It's true. And there's a lie people preach that everything as long as you're born again, vitu zitakuwa poa, everything will be good. No. That is a prosperity lie. It's yes, it's a lie. As long as you are in this earth, it's a fallen world. Nothing is perfect. Yes nothing mm. that is why we are we get born again so that we can go to another perfect life mm. where things are bliss yes where things are nice in heaven while in heaven when yes. the rest are doing what mm. burning in hell yeah we need to believe in jesus christ but as long we don't get born again to run away from problems mm. or run away from 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 things that are not really nice we get born again Number one, to receive eternal life. Mm-hmm. Number two, to have to, to to for a hope of a better life than this one. Yes. Number three, grace for here. Yes, so that we can thrive even when you're here. Yeah. Because there's a verse that says, "Enjoy the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living." Yes. Because when you when you're born again, when you know how to pray, then you have power and dominion yes. through Christ Jesus. Yes. So wow. if you, the problem with many Christians, they don't read their Bible. It, Nitajem to what a name for me any person in the bible they went through different seasons mm. like Hannah God wanted Samuel to be born in church mm. and not to be raised in, in the temple yes. like in the church mm. so i my understanding is God see the bible says Mungu alifunga womb yes he is the, is the, the one bible who closed says he closed is the one who closed the womb of Hannah My understanding is because he wanted Hannah to surrender the child. Afike mali aseme wewe utakupea. Nipatie nakupea. Because if he, she was given without her womb being closed, angekata na mtoi. Eh. But she had to surrender the child mm. like for me Wambo and Junior are miracles. That's why I have to teach them God because I told God kubali ni zae nitafundisha watoto njia zako. So for me to because God wants Junior and Wambo to be raised in the ways of mm. God. He allowed it not the one who did it but he allowed mm. me to have issues with birth so that our watoto nikipata nitamrudishia. Mm. You understand because yeah. if God has said you are the one who is going to use nano no kona stubborn heart mm. at allow calamity but your calamity and allow it is for your good it is for your own good it it's is not for the your one good. doing it it is for their own good and it is to align you to destiny mm. jona ali to point a fish maji the moment ali to point a maji akaingia ndani ya maji heart yake ili align yeah because man is so akiwa ndani ya fish heart yake ili Mm. So God alikubali watu am through outside the water mm. ndio hati yake ifanye nini? <laughs> Ni ukweli. Ndio hati yake ya line. Mm. Paul the apostle when he was on his way to Damascus he met Jesus and he became blind. 
God allowed that blindness for him. Sali atafunguliwa macho. Hivi. Atakuwa na doubt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That Jesus is Lord. Yeah. So that is what I'm saying is uh, I'm not saying everything that happens that is not good is of is God I may allow it all, that only happens to them that love, love the God Lord. because the bible says everything that happens to them that love God happens for their good and it's for our future and for example me I didn't start wearing weaves Mm. You see, I had a season where hata sikuwa na doya nywele. Yeah. But I embraced my season. Si kwenda kutafuta bwana ya mtu saa hiyo. Mm. Yeah, I embraced my season. I didn't have a car. Nilikuwa natumia matatu. Si kupita na bwana ya wenyewe ndio niingie kwa gari. Mm. Yeah, I embraced my season and I bought my first car when I was 26. I worked hard. Mm. 26 I bought my first car. Yeah. So wait for seasons. Watch a tamaa. The another problem why people don't wait for seasons. Tamaa. Mm. Na Yeah. Stop coveting another person's season. For mm. example, right now when you see me on TV or you see Danu here on TV and you're like, "Wow, what do I mean? You don't know the seasons you have been yeah. before we get here." Because mm. we don't show everything that we go through on social media. You understand? So, you have to make sure mm. yes, that you embrace your season. Yeah. And you wait for your turn. Mm. Don't envy anybody's season you don't know what they have gone through. Yes, you see someone casting out demons you're like I want to do that too. Yes. You don't know what they like did to get me, there. Uh, when you say you yeah, yeah me, God has given me a, a ministry of deliverance. And I myself have been tem- I've been tormented by demons kitabu. Mm. Nikachukia shetani. <laughs> Then I started studying mm. on scriptures on freedom from from demonic entities yeah and i got my freedom and through that god empowered me to be used mm. for other people yeah and i've gone through sickness for so long and now god has given me a gift of healing yeah so when, when, when you see me standing there casting out demons laying hands and healing them in the name of jesus christ i have also gone through a season yes yes wow thank you so much mama Wambo. thank you Guys, I mean I always receive uh, fast. <laughs> It's such I feel like I'm just receiving all of this. <laughs> By the time we're doing uh, 13 episodes of it, it's out I think the impartation that will be on me will be so great. I will see it in Jesus name. Thank you for that from all the guests and you also. Yeah, this yeah. is a really good information and I want to thrive in every season I'm in and I hope that you who are watching from home also are going to thrive in every season that you're in. I don't know maybe we can just pray Uh, for everyone that is watching yeah first of all yeah. i want to pray for understanding mm. understand every season yeah it's like for example right now i've just realized god wanted wanted me to to talk to mm. to talk freely and share what i've learned yeah but he's using your channel <laughs> interesting <laughs> and i you see and i thought i'm just coming to support my girl mm. but no God wants me to share his what I've learned. Yeah. And not me only. Mm. God is using you to using this platform for you to share what you've learned. God is using wow. every woman who has come here. Mm. They have gone through a painful season but out of that pain has birthed so much wisdom. Because Amen. if you listen to every woman who has come here they have wisdom that is of the is mm. not of the world. Yeah. So through their pain mm. God has birthed so much wisdom yeah. that they have come here to bring it to the world. Yeah. And that's wisdom will be permanently on youtube for people to learn amen amen <laughs> we give god amen. the glory amen we give god the, the glory, glory. Yes. yeah there's a, a service on friday at cpf uh, building yes it's cpf house or building C- cpf, CPF house. house yeah every on... friday in the evening mm. you you need to head there for prayers mm. yeah and i give god the glory and I, i love what god has i'm your personal friend and i've seen every now is what i'm realizing every season that no has gone through was to prepare her to sit on that seat <laughs> oh it was to prepare you to sit on that seat mm. so that you will able to understand everyone and you have wisdom to share and you will have a big heart to love and and I've I've seen every and season, be slow to judge yes huh. every season you've gone through was to prepare you to sit on that seat to be the host of this show so you see god is not <laughs> god is god is love mm. god is is just that we 
we look at seasons with our own understanding. Yeah. You get? Yes. Like uh, we've met the lady Agnes and um, she came on the show and what she taught me was through her season I've, and, and the wisdom she came out of, I've understood how to handle women mm. in such capacity. Yeah. So even when, because I've never gone through that season. Mm. So when they come to church, when they come to ministry or when I meet them anywhere, mm. I will know how to handle them yeah. through the wisdom she got from her season. Yes. You see, some of us are sacrificial lambs. Mm. Yeah? You're the sacrificial lamb in that area so that mm. God will use you to empower others mm. and your crown is bigger. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Guys, like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. God bless you. We love you so much.